I would like to apologize right off the bat for the quality of this video. As you can see, I'm not in perfect surroundings. I'm in my grandmother's house. I'm in London. I've just come off of fashion week. It's, it's after 11 p.m. I'm exhausted, but I did promise you all I would get a Bob Marley One Love trailer out. So if it's the first time you're here on the Silver Screen Dudes YouTube channel, I apologize. The quality of the videos is normally higher than this. The edits are normally a lot better. I guess this is the first time I've ever resorted to doing this, but I did promise a review would come out. So call this a, a quick review, if you will. So my thoughts on Bob Marley One Love. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Positives, negatives, score. Um, look, the, the huge positives in this movie are the subject matter. The life of Bob Marley is fascinating. What he did for the island nation of Jamaica at one of its most crucial and tumultuous times in history cannot be understated. The wide reaching impact of his music, both for Jamaica and internationally, cannot be understated. You know, the album Exodus was voted the best album of the 20th century. It, the, the cultural impact that this man had, it's astounding. And the movie, given that it's focusing on this as a subject matter, is elevated as a result. This isn't a case of a movie elevating subject matter. This is very much a case of subject matter elevating the movie. So it's very lucky it's got this as its subject matter, and we'll get on to why in the negatives. Um, Kingsley Benadir, who plays Bob Marley, I would say this is a star-making performance. There's after watching this, I'd say there's not many other people who I would have cast as Bob, to be honest. The, the guy nailed it. Kingsley absolutely nailed this role. And I, I'm along for the ride now for his career. I wish him nothing but the best if this is the type of quality he can deliver. I'm super impressed with him. And he made this role his own very, very much transformed into Bob Marley. At no point did I think I'm watching someone playing Bob Marley. I very much thought, okay, cool, I'm watching Bob Marley here. Um, now, hmm. I also think, I wouldn't just call this a positive or a negative, but I would say maybe that one of the risks the movie, the movie took, and it kind of paid off, is that it didn't want to show like the entire scope of Bob Marley's life. It chose to focus on two very specific, uh, well, two, three very specific years, 1976 to, uh, through to 1978, when Exodus was made, when the One Love concert happened in Jamaica, when he did his international tour. So look, Bob Marley was a controversial figure in terms of the fact that he had more than one wife, he had children from other wives. But the movie, while it references that, it never really goes into huge exposition on that. It very much is here to praise and celebrate his contributions to music and to freedom and to peace. Now for the negatives, and this comes back to the point I made before of the subject matter elevating the movie. Yeah, the movie's not very well made, unfortunately. And that seems like a very vague comment, not very well made. The thing I'm going to double down on is the editing. There are huge chunks of this movie that just feel like they're missing. Like one moment he's having, without giving too much away, he's having quite a heated argument with his wife. That has no payoff. Next thing you know, he's kicking the living hell out of his manager for betraying him. But because that wasn't built up properly, it doesn't have any emotional resonance. And then they move on from that quickly and that has no lasting impact. You know, when Jerry Heller betrays the NWA in Straight Outta Compton, that has long lasting impact, as it should. Nothing like that here. It's just argument with wife, argument with manager. Cool, we're back to doing music. I'm like, well, sorry, human relationships are more nuanced than that. It's not just it happened to move on. I wanted to see what the repercussions of this were, but the, the, the movie just didn't go into that. I feel, and that's why I bring it back to the editing, I think that there's a good 30 to 40 minute chunk of this movie that's missing. Now, I've been on the channel before saying that movies are getting too long at the moment. This one felt too short. Like, I was like, where's the rest of this film, man? The editing was ropey. Lashana Lynch was good in this, but her... <laughs> 
bless her, her accent when she was getting angry, she completely lost her Jamaican accent, which is quite funny. Um, so the biggest thing I have to, you know, throw shade at this movie for, as I said, is the ropey editing. And the ropey editing was so much so that the opening script of the movie, which is the 1976 concert, changed his life and changed the course of Jamaica. If you know the story, the real life story, that statement is true. What the movie showed me, that statement is completely untrue. So I just feel like someone was too ruthless on the cutting room on the cutting room floor here. And it's kind of buggered the movie up. It's kind of made me go, well, where's the rest? Um, and again, I'm going to go straight into the conclusion here. As a result of it, having some ropey editing, despite the story and performances being great, I'm going to give One Love, the Bob Marley story, 6.5 out of 10. Apologies that there's no fancy graphic or titling or anything coming up. Again, guys, quick review. I'm exhausted. I hope you just appreciate the effort of me putting this up on YouTube, even though, again, I'm just recording with my phone here. But, you know, I wanted to share my thoughts because I promised I would. So... I promise the quality of the reviews is usually better, um, but I'm exhausted. So have sympathy on me. Please do like the video and show your support for a struggling content creator who's just trying to bring you guys some thoughts and some theories and some interesting content. There's a load of other videos on our channel now. Go check them out. There should be a subscribe button up here and another video for you to watch over here. So I'll see you guys very soon on the channel. Bye for now and good night.